Yo, what's good? It's your boy Nate Hudson, and you watching the hip hop guru. Let's go. Today, we are out here with one of Montreal's biggest stars, Nate Husser. What's going on? Welcome, dog. How you been, man? Appreciate you. Been blessed, been blessed. You? Living, man. You know, every day is another opportunity to get that bread, so uh -huh. we're out here, you know? Yes, sir. It's good. So you're on the tour right now. You're doing a little Canadian run. Mm -hmm. Tell me about how that's going. Man, it's going sweet. Like, <clears throat> just the, you know what I'm saying? It's just the beginning. Mm -hmm. Touching some of, you know, the shit, the cities that have been showing love mm -hmm. lately. You know what I'm saying? A few of them. Man, it's just the experience. We hooping in every city too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to talk about that. You, got, you were just at a spot today right before you came over here. Mm-hmm. Is at the LA Fitness. Mm hmm Out in uh in Scarborough, right? Yeah. 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 That's crazy. So you I saw on Instagram too, you're out there with Baron Davis, you know, CJ mm -hmm. Wallace, you know, yeah. that's that's crazy. Tell me talk about those kind of runs as well. Cause you know, you're not just like you're pulling up to any spot. And mm -hmm. you're a hooper hooper as well, right? Mm -hmm, mm hmm So tell me about like hooping with like legends and you know, normal people, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's just fun every time, like, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's like, it's like everybody, you know what I'm saying, who st still plays ball and all that to this day is like, cause it's like a passionate thing, you know what I'm saying? So I like how it's just like, it brings like people together. You get to meet new people and all that shit. Like the amount of people I met through basketball is like crazy. Like that was the first thing I was ever doing anyways. Like, so. No, for sure. Yeah. So love of, like love of basketball was first before music and then you got into music after. Yeah. Not for sure. Yeah. So who's the team that you've been like following this year? Memphis and the Lakers. Mm -hmm. It's kind of tough being a Lakers fan right now, but you gotta you gotta believe, you know, you gotta you gotta really kind of put that uh that belief towards that they're gonna come out that side of maybe there's gonna be a trade or something like that. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Not for Ain't sure. Tight. But Memphis is going crazy too. I think they're first yeah, in the West. Crazy. You know, Jaws is like really taking that team to the next level. That boy Ja, crazy. I'm going nuts. Yeah. So um, the bas the basketball thing is a charity thing too, no? Um. Yeah. Well, in the summer, my hood. Mm -hmm. like every summer we do like an annual uh, charity ball tournament. <clears throat> That's sick. Event barbecue. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like a little festival kind of vibe. Get everybody together and also give an opportunity to give yeah. back. No, that's yeah. what's up. So you started like um, you started freestyling, right? Uh -huh. I saw on TikTok too. You went to the drive-through and then you had the uh, order where you freestyled the order and yeah. then. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you how do you think that freestyling allows you to have more of like a competitive edge over not being able to freestyle when it comes to being able to deliver rhymes? Um, I feel like, man, if you like freestyling, come from really, you know, having a a, a passion and a, a, a different kind of love for the art, you know what I'm saying? Like when you when you when you become good at freestyling, so it's like also it's the rawest like form of rap because mm -hmm. it's the first it's just straight really off the, the dome. First, yeah, yeah, thoughts and all that that just comes to you. So it's like <clears throat> the rawest, the purest. That's that's always gonna be like you know what I'm saying. What kind of beats anything else? No, straight up. And anything. So you, you made the move from Montreal to LA for a bit as well. Uh -huh. So how do you find that like LA is able to kind of give you that little extra edge? Because you know everything's I'm about out. To say in that again. Montreal, like living in Montreal versus uh -huh. LA, because you know there's connections you can make in LA, yeah. which are like you know everything from movie this and that, that. That's all out in LA. So how do you find that that connection from going from one city to the other was? Um, shoot, I've always been like moving around and stuff, so. It's like adapting to new places. It ain't like really nothing. Um, but it's like you gotta, you know what I'm saying? You gotta go where um, things is happening for whatever it is you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, and for whatever time that may be that you gotta go and be out there for. No, so sure. it's just part of the game, you know what I mean? At least for me and my, and my uh, path and how I see. Yeah, no, straight up. Yeah. You can't ever get too comfortable, right? And you know, when there's an opportunity, you got to be able to be ready and go take mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. you know, straight up. That's a big thing. <clears throat> so let's talk about your um, the project that you dropped. You know, you were talking about how it's a certain length because you didn't want it to be too much. 
and you didn't want it to be too short, just the right amount. Mm -hmm. So what was your favorite one off there? My favorite song off the project is Lil Big. Mm -hmm. Like Lil Big is like my favorite song ever that I did, mm -hmm. I think. One of, like, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So what makes that one your favorite one? Man, it's just like the flow, the, the, the stories I'm talking. You know what I'm saying? And how I'm turning like negatives to positives and shit on it. Like I really, I really like that. I like, I like how I'm paying homage to like some of my favorite artists, you know, Big, Lil Wayne, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's just a vibe, it bops, like. Yeah. Yeah, Lil Wayne, Dwayne Carter flow. Uh -huh. Yeah, that one going crazy too, like three yeah. million plays, you know? Mm -hmm. And there's parts in there when you listen to it and then maybe if you close your eyes, it literally sounds like Lil Wayne. <laughs> so how do you feel like when somebody comes up to you and says that? Um. You're like, all right, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I thought the same thing. That's why I called it that. Like, I was like, shit. <clears throat> you know, it wasn't nothing, like, intentional. Mm -hmm. It was just, like, having fun making a track. And then at the end of it, you know, I just laid down, like, whatever I had. And at the, by the end of it, I was like, shit, this kind of sound, like, real, like, wainy. And he, like, you know, one of my biggest, like, the legends. Yeah. Ghost, you know what I'm saying? So, oh, sure. Goddamn. <clears throat> So you said it also like a... Like, yeah, it's just like a homage. I just named it like that because I was like, fuck it. No, straight up. Uh, you said also part of it was that um, the Carter 3. You felt like that's the run that you're on right now. Um, shoot. <laughs> in a way, like, not nah, really. I just mm -hmm. feel like, I just feel like the, not in terms of run, just in terms of like, just feeling myself like energy-wise, bro. Like, just like, my level of um, just like creativity and stuff mm -hmm. when it comes to just how I'm feeling, cooking up. No, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And just like being in my bag, like in every way, really like. No, straight up. So you did a huge show in the summer, you know, I was watching the video. I wasn't able to make it out to that one. Metro, Metro, Montreal. Mm -hmm. I was watching the video, man. It looks like you're literally standing in front of like 30,000 people. So what was that feeling once you got onto that stage and then you see everybody out there and then you're like, all right, this is my time? Yeah, that's what it is. You just go out there and it's like, all right, bless, it's go time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, shit. Them types of like environments and crowds, like, I feel like, you know, if you could, if you could put on a good show in front of that many people and you could put on a good show in front of like 20 people, then you know what I'm saying? That's what's gonna separate you like from you know, good from the great, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, straight up. type thing, so. It's just like, man, I have fun with it, because I am see I see that many people, it's like. It's even more even, energy, yeah, you know, it's, it's more, more. energy and all that, like, you, you just gotta. Motivation is all yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, that's it, just seize the moment, like, you know. No, straight up. So who's somebody that you have on, like, your wish list that you want to tour with once this one's over? I don't have nobody I want to, like, necessarily, like, tour with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like on a wish list type vibes. Like I, I want to tour with like my homies and people that like you know what I'm saying. Family, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and all that. Like on on my own tour type shit, or our own tour like squash shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not really like looking forward to like hopping on nobody. Like, no, no, not even that. Like hopping on that way, all organic growth. You know? Yeah, for but, sure, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I'd be, I'd be like, I would love to be on people's tours and shit. Like for sure. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, but there's no one specific. I'm just like, yeah, let me. I wanna, nah, nah, for sure. Yeah. So you got some crazy features on this one as well. You know, you got a uh, Lucky Babytron. Uh -huh. How how did those ones come about? And you know, you got some other people as well. Let me see. You don't wanna not name names, you know? Yeah, Merlin Reeves. Yeah. These guys like those two. They they my homies. And the other shit is just Cousin like Stizwell, yeah, yeah, Cousin Stiz, like. Some of them other ones just like, you know, some like label connections and shit. Mm -hmm. Like then like reaching out. Like, Not like, true. The song. Yeah. Yeah. So I wanna to talk to you also about, you know, you got some crazy tattoos going on. Where? So you did huge homage on there. Mm -hmm. So tell me about what each one means to you. You got one Nipsey and Martin Luther King Jr. Um, basically like, yeah, I got Malcolm X, Martin Luther oh, King. Shoot, my bad. Yeah. Nipsey Hustle. And Bob Marley. Say word on the back. Yeah. And why I got them four on my neck is like because I wanted to, I guess in a way, like 
pay homage, but just kind of reflect how, like, our black kings, like, over time could present themselves, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. to, to the world. Like, each one of these guys, like, like changed the world and had, had great influence. Positive impact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In their own, like, different way. Left a legacy and also yeah. motivated a whole, you yeah. know, next generation forever. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's, 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 that's why I put them on my neck. Like, no, respect to that. Do you have like a favorite uh, Nipsey album or like track or anything like that? Yeah, one of my favorite. Uh, I mean, I got a few. I like I like the one on. Um, I like the track he got with uh, Big Sean, Deep Reverence. Mm -hmm. um, Check me out is one of my favorites from Nip. I like the one that um, Hunter the Show with Rick Ross. Like that one really crazy. Those are my like some of my favorites. You know, also what's it called? He had one of the most genius kind of marketing plans as well, where he was selling the mixtape for like a hundred bucks, and then uh -huh. he threw that out there, because um, he was like, "Yo, I could create this where I give somebody a physical CD, and it also allows them to have a ticket to the show, mm -hmm. and then, but in exchange, it's not just you know buying a T-shirt or something like that. You have this one of one piece that only a couple people have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, and then that kind of like changed it, and that was right before the streaming kicked in. Yeah. So I was really and you know, interesting. You, like they kind of investing directly like in with the artists and all that so it's not like, straight up all money in right uh -huh. mm -hmm. so um what is your favorite bar that means that has the most meaning to you in your catalog my own mm -hmm. list <clears throat> that's a crazy question that's a good question mm, off top of my head i'd say I felt like a milli one. I had a thousand. Because mm -hmm. you one. envisioned that that success before it was even there, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, nah, yeah. this is a mind state thing, right? Exactly. You have to believe what you're going to come before anybody even sees you in that situation, mm -hmm. and nobody's going to want to kind of support you, gotta, you until they see you doing that. You know what I'm saying you got to be it to come it. You know what I'm saying? So it comes. That's how you become. Not nah, straight mm -hmm. up. At the end of the day, it's only you versus yourself, right? Every day. Yeah. Nothing All else day. matters. No, straight up respect right. to that. Yo, you know what's crazy on that? We was in the car today. After the ball runs, listening to some Jay-Z uh, freestyle from like 90, mm -hmm. something like 96. Google it or YouTube it. It's motherfucking Big L mm -hmm. and Jay-Z radio freestyle, right? Mm -hmm. And this nigga said, I'm destined to see eight figures. Bro. At that time, at you know, that that's time. a crazy thing to say. And now you know he's at, sitting on over a billion, you know? So it's like, he knew it. Not straight up. You know what I'm saying? Spoke that shit. Like, Which is crazy too, because you know, there's certain points where you know, you don't think that you can reach, but if you think about it in your head, then you'll always get there. Mm -hmm. And then you know, they'll only tell you you're crazy until it works, and then you're a genius, right? Like exactly. Say that a lot. You have to be crazy or delusional in a way because you're thinking about something that doesn't necessarily exists or has it happened but you have to create the scenario to really feel it and see it envision it and then to embody it so mm -hmm. at the end of the day delusion is not always a bad thing no straight up and there's a lot of people that also are scared to tell you to go for something because they're scared that yeah. it might not happen and you know it takes a long time to get something going too it's not just mm -hmm. overnight you know mm -hmm. like overnight success can take you 10 years straight up exactly yeah exactly so that's always interesting so um if you were to go back in time and give yourself some advice that you know now, what would you kind of go with? I'd say leave school like after sixth grade hmm. and just chase your dreams. Yeah. Because <laughs> after that, <laughs> everything you learn after that is like the downhill. You no, know, it's like you know, it's like you just learn that on your own time, really. Like after you learn the basics, bro. Like all you really need to do is know how to read and do basic math, and you can go so far with that in the world. That's all you need, bro. Mm -hmm. After that, just like indulge in whatever it is you love, and just you know what I'm saying, soak up information and, and all that shit, bro. Like no, straight up, like who you know can be more important than what you know, right? Because yeah. the connections are everything. And all that, like, and mm -hmm. what you can bring to the table. You know what I'm saying? Focus on on your passion. And that's it. So, if I was talking to the old me, I'd tell him to <laughs> leave, leave high school early and just either start rapping or motherfucking 
start hustling, do like some type of business. You know what I'm saying? Entrepreneur. Like, yo, it's time to get that started faster. Yeah, Don't yeah, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Like, where we sitting in class for? You know? Mm hmm. It's a waste of time. Come on, doing making macaroni uh, castles. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> so, um,. That's nah, but stay in school. Stay in school, man. You know, <laughs> what uh, what's it called? So, um, what do you what do you think? Um, if you, if there were to be only one album for the rest of your life, this is a tough one because it's like you know this is an on spot type thing. If there was only one album that you had to listen to for the rest of your life, what would you pick with? And you know, that's a no skip album. You know, something that had a lot of. One album for the rest of my life, Snoop Doggy style. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's a classic debut, too, and that one's crazy because he, he put it on uh, the that Metaverse. Shit. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's dope. No, for sure. Yeah. Like, yeah, I could listen to that song, that album. Like, Gin and Juice, you know? Yeah, you know what I mean? A bunch on that one, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The production on that, you know? It gets me in a mold anytime that shit. Turn on, I, I don't never, I don't never uh, skip it. Mm hmm. Nah, Snoop Dogg is a legend, man. I think Snoop Dogg is the most marketable artist of all time. You see him with the, on a big commercial with Martha Stewart. <laughs> you see him on a Corona on the commercial on the mm -hmm. beach, you know? There's nothing that he can't be, you know, and that's, that's crazy too. Thanks. So, what, what do we have next? Um, shoot. Man, a whole nother project coming up mm. you know what i'm saying early 2023 mm -hmm. yeah it's gonna be big look forward to some some crazy shit like yeah. for real like some different shit like i'm really trying to touch on <clears throat> really like putting people in my world like this just just like really telling not only my story but the story like my people where i'm from bro Mm -hmm. in the hood and, and Bergs, bro, back home, like, you know what I'm saying? It's a whole different, like, world and environment that nobody don't know about, like, for real, so, it's like... Trying to put people on, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, straight up. It's cool, too, because every, every project's like a different chapter, right? So mm -hmm. you go from one part to the next part. Yeah. And then, you know, as you go on tour as well, you get to experience different things, you know, see different places, so there's so much more that you can put in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you when you when people listen to your music, what do you want them to experience? Yeah, I want them to experience just life, kind of like through my eyes, like type shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? My feel my energy and mm -hmm. shit, like feel good. And I say just enjoy, just enjoy life, enjoy the moment. Actually, that that's what I want people to get from my positive vibes only. You know? Yeah, I mean, respect to that. Yeah, so when you when are you gonna go try out for the Raptors? Man, they gotta call me up. You know what I mean? When they realize they need me, they can hit me. Messiah, get Messiah on the phone. You, you know? know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. That's it. Like that's it. <laughs> Until then, I'm gonna keep dropping my highlight tapes and my hoop tapes. You know what I'm saying? They're sleeping, man. Let you know? Well, no, best rapper hooper alive. Come on. Mm -hmm. Straight up. I'm taking challenges. I'm taking niggas' monies. DM. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. That's crazy. Master P did it, man. You can too, you know? There's no limit. Yo, for sure. Straight up. I'm definitely a no limit soldier. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, um, what, 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 any last, you know, words? Um, do the right thing, y'all. And shit. God bless, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Looking forward to 2023, you know what I'm saying? Leave all that whack shit, that lame shit, that weak shit, that scary shit, you know what I'm saying? That fake shit all in the past, you know what I'm saying? And let's just get on to the great shit, you know what I'm saying? Come on. Onwards and upwards. Stop wasting time. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Time is money. Straight up. Let's go. All right, man. I appreciate your time always, you know? Likewise, brother. Appreciate it. Lock that in. All that's, right. That's the sit down on the hip hop groove.